hey hi everyone welcome back welcome to uh, my new video which is on uh, task report and this is uh, one more feature which is uh, from confluence within confluence uh, one of the macro and this is quite an in this will be an interesting one because uh, this has uh, various users in the industry right where we used uh, to manage different tasks open action items action items assigned by a team lead to his team and he wants to see what's uh, the progress what has been completed what is not completed right and also like for example in this particular case so what we gonna say is uh, we have uh, the three project managers Jasmine, ABC, Donald, XYZ and Kerry CDE. So there's Kerry is a project manager and she is handling uh, project CDE. Similarly Donald is handling XYZ and same for Jasmine. Right. So we know in different meetings so like most of the time goes in communication. Right. And during these meetings we uh, the outcome is we have some of the action items for the team where something needs to be delivered right so for example if for one particular project uh, which has a span of uh, three months you end up doing 50 meetings right out of these 50 meetings you capture minutes of meeting uh, for each and every time you meet with the stakeholders so you have 50 pages created and all of these 50 pages may might have maybe three action items each so on a total we have 150 open action items Right. So if someone wants to keep a track of what's the progress of these action items which came out of these meetings, it's a very tedious task. Right. If you want to just scroll to these pages and get the information. Right. So this task report macro exactly covers this particular pain point. So it addresses this query by consolidating all of these tasks based on to whom it has been assigned and based on when it was created and provide us with a consolidated view of what all are the incompleted tasks and what all are the completed tasks right sounds interesting right so actually it is and there's one more um, I would say an example that I can give you for example you are a team lead right and you wanna you want to assign um, your five team members different tasks Right. So what you do is you create 15 tasks at your page. Right. So if you assign the particular team member a particular task at your page itself. Right. So without even repeating the same information, you can cascade that particular uh, open task to that particular team member from this macro itself task report macro so it, it is it's an automated way where it automatically picks up the data it's just a filter needs to be applied and the filter would be um, as to whom the task has been assigned if it is assigned to me I will list as Pawan Kumar Lohumi so I would just be able to see tasks which are assigned to me if I apply those filters right so it, this is a quite an interesting macro I would say which really helps us to manage our uh, open action items and see what's in our pipeline what has been completed what is not at a single view right so what we want to do is in our last video as we in some of our, I would say in the previous to previous video uh, I have covered some um, like how we can use standard templates to capture minutes of meeting right so what I'm going to do is I have kept created some of this uh, uh, minutes of meeting pages where I have listed open action items for myself right and similarly you have created these open action items in, in all of these three projects so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I have a consolidated page where I'm I want to see all of these open action items as well as the close at my parent page which is over here right Sounds interesting. So let's get started how uh, we can achieve this in Confluence. So we are back to um, our Confluence space. Right. So, okay, let's, uh, okay, these are the three different uh, project pages. Uh, Donald, Jasmine, Kerry, where they are managing their uh, individual projects. So I go inside uh, Donald, the page tree, and I have these child pages now, Chris Christ, Mom, and Roadmap. And I now I go within a minutes of meeting and go to this particular page I see there is one action item assigned right Pavan to present session on create from template macro on 
June 28th. All right, so what I'm going to do is let me add one more action item so that you know how we add action items. All right. So to add an action item, we have a feature over here called as action item. All right. You see this checkbox. So as as soon as I click on this, it creates an entry at the bottom. So what I can do is we can first let me type in a name to whom I'm assigning this uh, task. So I'm assigning to myself. And then what is the action item? To present a session, okay. Uh, to give session on expand macro on, and I just put a date, right? And the date is maybe um, third. Cool, right? And this is 28. So this, if when uh, as soon as a task is completed, uh, let's publish this page first. And as in when a task is completed, uh, that per individual can mark it complete over here. Okay, this has a mark to complete. I'll just refresh the page so that uh, just confirm, yeah, okay, so it stays, right? And, uh, okay, some issue with my internet. Let me refresh my page again. Great, right? And similarly, if you notice, uh, within project uh, XYZ handled by Jasmine, we have minutes of meeting. And again, over there, we have these two tasks right one is the mark to complete it that's great let's mark even this to complete and next just in July 3 okay expand macros here to note it done okay great and then we go to carry and even in carry we have um, this minutes of meeting where you have this action item Okay, so we are giving this demo. So this is uh, in progress. That's great. All right, so what I want to do now, I come at this program view, a page where it, we are going to consolidate all the action items. I just get under this, uh, into this page, project action items. We edit and uh, then we add a macro. We go to insert, view macro, and then uh, we have a macro call as task report. Great. So we have these options over here. So these are the way by which we can, uh, I would say, streamline or filter the information that we are seeing. Right. For example, what what does this mean? Right. So we have different so spaces and pages. So if we want to see tasks only for from a specific page. That means I want to see task which is present at 25th June 2020. All right, I just click on this and if I just refresh, you just notice the preview over here. We just had one task over there, right? So we can filter data based on pages as well as we can filter data based on space. So that means the entire space where we have three projects, if you want to see a consolidated view so we just keep it as blank or else if it is a different space where you have the projects being captured and you are calling it at a different confluence space confluence workspace right so at that point of time you just need to mention the space name from where you want to pull the this task that you have created then there is another way of uh, i would say retrieving these task is based on label so uh, you might remember we covered this label as part of page property macro, right? Where the page property report pulls the risk details and put it in a consolidated tabular form based on a label. So what this uh, particular macro that I would say the task report macro does is it pulls all of the tasks from pages having a label tagged to it. Right, so that's how this label works. Assigned to is we can apply a filter. Maybe I can I just want to see what all tasks have been assigned to Pawan. So I can just put Pawan over here, so it will filter all the tasks that that has been assigned to Pawan. Okay, that's one. Then created by who has created these tasks, created after, and also we can uh, put a filter based on created date as well so that means if there is a task i want to see all the tasks that were created 
after uh, maybe 1st of July. So I can just put a date in the format of DDMMYYY and it will show me all the tasks which were created after 1st July 2020 including the date of 1st July. Okay. And next is we have a, a task status if you want to see incomplete or complete. Right. So we want to see all the tasks which are open at the moment and number of tasks we want to see at one pay in one page. I believe we have listed as 20 and the columns that we want to see description. We have the due date, assignee, locations, etc. OK, and let's let's try to insert this macro. So here we are seeing uh, all the incomplete tasks which are present in this particular space. Right. So if so uh, within the macro in the space, if we leave it as blank and just refresh this page, if you leave uh, the space field as blank, it automatically it automatically takes um, it automatically takes uh, the existing conference space by default. Right. And picks up all the open tasks. OK, so you see we have uh, now got all the open tasks, open action items. And now let's see how we can uh, retrieve all the tasks that has been completed, which are present in this particular Confluence workspace. OK, we can make this as a heading. Great. And we want to see everything that has been completed. We make this as a heading. Great. Okay. And uh, rather than adding, I will just copy this macro, paste it here, edit. So you see the space text box is left blank so this will automatically pick the existing workspace where we are working if you if you were if we were referring to an another workspace where we want to see a consolidated view of uh, from where we want to see the consolidated view of tasks we can just uh, uh, put in the space name over here right so let's see all of the completed tasks and let's uh, okay uh, maybe i don't want to see the due date as this is already completed. Okay, so I'll leave. Okay, I have just removed that particular column name and we say save. Great. And we will publish it now. That's great. So, what do you see now? So, you see all the tasks that has uh, that were checked as completed appears over here. So, there's another way, right? So, for example, I, I'm, I'm seeing all the tasks over here. If I want to mark something as complete, I can mark it complete from my end from this from this page as well. So I just check this box. I refresh this page. Okay. I refresh this page now and you might notice it has disappeared and it has gone to the completed part. Right, so it, it's a pretty cool feature, and uh, this is can be widely used if you are managing um, multiple tasks and you have a huge list which of tasks that have been assigned to different team members, and you want to manage everything at one place and want to have a consolidated view of what all tasks has been achieved and what uh, what are still pending. You can easily do it using this particular macro, isn't isn't it a really cool feature it, it, it is definitely it really helps and uh, from personally speaking from my experience this really helps to keep a track of uh, different tasks well while, while you're working on multiple projects while you are getting into multiple meetings different meetings and it, it gets really difficult for someone to keep a track of what has happened when so this really helps you to get everything consolidated at one place and and just see okay these are the open action items that I need to work on and these are something that has been completed and if I want to just tick on some of the action items okay this has completed let's check this out okay let's check this box out okay and it automatically moves to the completed action item so it really helps to keep a track of what is open what is what has been closed what has been worked on right so uh, that's all about this uh, task report macro uh, thank you so much for watching and if you like my video please do uh, subscribe to my channel as well as uh, 
put uh, give your feedback if you see we can improve or if you want to see more features um, that this conference provides and uh, want to know more about it uh, kindly do let me know um, thank you so much have a wonderful day ahead